Welcome to Space News from the Electric Universe, brought to you by the Thunderbolts Project at thunderbolts.info. For nearly a century, scientists on Earth have imagined, speculated about, and searched in earnest for a mysterious, invisible, and heretofore undetected entity called dark matter. The concept of dark matter was officially invented nearly a century ago by the renowned Swiss physicist Fritz Zwicky, though similar earlier speculations trace back decades earlier. However, in mainstream astronomical literature, the term invented is rarely used in discussions of dark matter's theoretical origins, even though the term is entirely accurate. A historical synopsis of the events is offered in the recent Robert McFarlane book, Underland, which states that Zwicky observed that galaxies, quote, were revolving much faster than expected, especially towards the outer reaches of the cluster. At such speeds, individual galaxies should have broken their gravitational hold on one another, dispersing the cluster. There was, Zwicky determined, only one possible explanation. There had to be another source of gravity, powerful enough to hold the cluster together given the speeds of revolution of the observable bodies. But what could supply such huge gravitational field strength, sufficient to tether whole galaxies? And why could he not see this, quote, missing mass? Zwicky found no answers to his questions, but in asking them, he began a hunt that continues today. His, quote, missing mass is now known as dark matter, and proving its existence and determining its properties is one of the grail quests of modern physics. Of course, the so-called Grail Quest continues, funded by countless millions of taxpayer dollars. As we've reported ad nauseum on this series, the endless mission to prove dark matter's existence has yielded consistently fruitless results, and astronomers still have no idea what the elusive hypothetical material is actually composed of. For many years, astronomers have closely observed objects which are believed to be the most likely to host two of the leading dark matter candidates weakly interacting massive particles, or WIMPs, or massive astrophysical compact halo objects, or MACHOs. They have simply not found the evidence they are looking for. And now, scientists from the universities of Bonn and Strasbourg have published a paper which reported the successful formation of galaxies without the hypothetical influence of dark matter. As reported by Phys.org, for the first time, researchers from the universities of Bonn and Strasbourg have simulated the formation of galaxies in a universe without dark matter. To replicate this process on the computer, they have instead modified Newton's laws of gravity. The galaxies that were created in the computer calculations are similar to those we actually see today. According to the scientists, their assumptions could solve many mysteries of modern cosmology. The modified Newtonian dynamics model was created by the Israeli physicist Dr. Mordechai Milgram. Based on this model, which states that the gravitational attraction between two masses is much stronger under low accelerations, some astronomers now believe this is why anomalously high rotational speed of galaxies does not cause them to fly apart. Dr. Pavel Krupa states of the research, Perhaps the gravitational forces themselves simply behave differently than previously thought. Of course, the Electric Universe theory has always proposed that neither the existence of dark matter nor central black holes are necessary to explain the observed forms and dynamics of galaxies. And the EU would agree that gravitational forces behave differently than astronomers have thought. However, the claim that this is, quote, the first time that scientists have successfully simulated galaxy formation and motions without dark matter is not correct. As we've documented countless times, dating back many decades, plasma scientists have reproduced the unique forms and motions of spiral galaxies in the laboratory. More than half a century ago, the late MIT physicist Dr. Winston Bostick performed groundbreaking experimental research on a high-density energy storage phenomenon called the plasmoid. Bostick simulated many astrophysical phenomena through plasma physics experiments, including galaxy formation, and spectacular cosmic jets. More recently, Dr. Anthony Peratt of Los Alamos Laboratories demonstrated experimentally that galactic structures can evolve under the influence of electric currents. Through what is known as the pinch effect, parallel currents converge to produce structures identical in form to spiral galaxies. 
on the question of the relevance of modified Newtonian dynamics in explaining anomalous galaxy rotation speeds, physicist Wal Thornhill has stated, the motion of galaxies is not gravity dominated. Mond may not be necessary for galaxies. A critical clue to the electrical nature of galaxies is the evidence that galaxies, like stars, form along vast cosmic filaments, which are the telltale signs of the large-scale Birkeland currents which connect celestial objects across unimaginable distances. And on the anomalous stellar velocity profiles of galaxies, as we recently reported, the electric universe has again been far ahead of the curve over standard cosmology. In 2018, retired professor Dr. Donald Scott published his scientific model of galactic-scale Birkeland currents as the cause of these anomalous stellar rotation profiles, with no need for either dark matter nor modified Newtonian dynamics. As seen in this graph, the predicted stellar velocities based on Dr. Scott's model and the actual stellar velocities measured over nearly a century compare remarkably well. Here's an excerpt of Dr. Scott's presentation in the 2018 Space News. Dark matter? No. Birkeland currents? Yes. The velocity in these stars, really, in the real world, and they've been measured like this for 85 years now, they vary as the square root of r. The last picture is a comparison of the predicted and actual stellar velocity. So if you take my model of the Birkeland current and assume that it's feeding, the rotation in the Birkeland current is responsible for the rotation of the galaxy. That is the uh, comparison between the actual velocity, which is that sort of wiggly, sort of a very lazy S curve, and the, the square root of r is the smoother curve there. And that's exactly what my Birkeland current model predicts should happen. So there's no surprises. And these guys have been chasing their tails down a, a box canyon for 85 years now, looking and crying out that they know that dark matter exists, but they can't find it. That's because there's no reason for it.